Bring in my colleague now, Dakota Sherrick. And Dakota, even though police are telling this, this was noisemakers last night. I know you've been talking to people all day who are out here. I mean, this was really scary. Yeah, it absolutely was for a lot of people. I even had one man tell me that the panic last night was like something out of an apocalypse movie. Hundreds of people running terrified. Another person I spoke with had a bird's eye view of all the chaos. <laughs> First, we were, me and my daughter were just in shock. We were just looking because we didn't know what to expect. Philip Profumo and his 11 year old daughter had been waiting to get on a ride when they heard two loud sounds. We thought it was gunshots and everybody was yelling, gunshots fired, shots fired. They said it was gunshots. What happened next, Profumo calls madness, capturing some of the chaos with his cell phone. We seen everybody running and there was an exit that was actually right, right by the ride and they were rushing out of that, pushing people down. We seen an old lady get pushed to the ground. The ride swings there and people People jumped off of that while it was still in motion and just jumped to the ground and all the fence barriers that were blocking the rides, they knocked them down so they could get out faster. Profumo decided to stay by the ride with his daughter, keeping above the commotion. I was more concerned about her than anything. Uh, just because I could see it on her face that she was scared. Kentucky State Police has since said noise making devices caused people to believe gunshots had been fired. Some who reached out to WDRB but didn't want to go on camera say regardless of what made the noise, the experience was scary and their kids are now traumatized. It's going to be hard to go back to the fair again. I mean, it really will be because I can't have them exposed to that kind of stuff. I mean, my kids. Profumo certainly isn't the only one with that sentiment. A lot of people have been commenting on our social media pages that they don't plan to come back to the state fair for quite some time. Now coming up later in the show, hear from one witness who says this incident is going to have a lasting impact on his family. Live at the fairgrounds, Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.